Hi uh, guys, welcome to this Hyperlens SSD. So we're not on VirtualBox, we're not even on NVIDIA. It's still a GPU of Intel HD graphics, which is easy. Thing is, this is an up-to-date system. And if you update your Hyperlens, there are applications that get updated, but also in the config. So I've made a mention on it on Facebook, on different social media, that the configuration has changed. And I've told maybe that was um, a bit um, simplistic, but it is what it is. All is here. ETC scale, that's where it is. So the configuration of i3, BSPW, and so on, it's always gonna be here. So if something changes, you need to compare what's going in here. In this case, it's hyper. And you have to compare, compare it what you have or might already have because you may have changed the original code. So best is then to melt and now melt is an application to compare things. And otherwise, if you said I've done nothing, then you just get this one, this folder, control C and get it in your own system, dot config and control V. And that's basically what you do with scale. But not only do you copy then the hyper folder, but everything, everything else. So it is really up to you. Common sense. What do you want? Just a folder just the change and that's it uh, you can compare both config.config .config and the one in scale and then see what small things have changed and it was indeed a change necessary because of the new application so sudo pacman minus s we have got hyperlint and you've got choices that's fun that's linux you've got choices this is ours hyperlint dev so that's the one that we've tested that's one that we know that worked with our code and it stays like that for a week, two weeks, a month or two or three, right? Until we decide, let's see what new developments have been pushed to the GitHub. We build it and it's basically the Hyperlink Git that we're using. And we test it out, the latest commit. It works, it's fine with our code. Okay, we can build a new Hyperlink dev. That's how we release these things. That's how we know these things stay stable. So if you have a problem with one of these things, well, you have Hyperlint and there's Hyperlint NVIDIA and Hyperlint NVIDIA Git to test out. You can switch in between, but that's the app. The configuration is somewhere else. The configuration is in Arclinux Hyperlint, right? That one, Hyperlint Git. That's the one where we have this code. And it's gonna go again to the ETC scale. And if you want to have the latest newest code the working code sometimes because this is an experimental desktop it's wayland it's experimental it changes right so you have to be aware that sometimes if this is the only thing you have and not xfc as a backup or something right then you know that you end up sometimes in a tty in a black screen and you have to manipulate the files that way then so this use your um update your video to tell okay maybe it's not apparent for users but if there is an update if there is a change it's in etc scale that's where the correct code is always is always as backup as well so if you start messing with code and get a problem it doesn't load anymore right if you type four letters scale and reboot you probably have it working again because it's definitely again the Arclix configuration but app, version of the app, version of the config, it all matters. It's all needs to fix uh, and then everything is fine. All right. Cheers.